I was just lay here and I want to make up for something that I goofed up when I was on Excel TV a couple nights ago. I tried to show a Power Query example and it didn't work so well. So here is what I meant to show. So we've got this data that looks like a report and we've got Wisconsin data, Maryland data, Arizona, New Mexico, Idaho, Rhode Island. And we want to know something about, say, Tina overall, Marcel overall, not broken down by state. There are ways of using Power Query, also known as Git and Transform in Excel 2016, where we can take this data that looks like a report, we can put it in a table and use a query to get information to, to massage this data around. But I had a question can I import from a file while I'm in that file, All right? So this file is called import rep data. Go to data, get and transform, new query, from file, from workbook. Okay, so here is import rep data. Ah, and here is the file, and here are the sheets. So let's look at sheet one. There is the data. So we don't want to load it right now. We want to edit this query because we want to clean this data up. All right, here is the data. First, let's get Wisconsin, get all of the state data filling up the state column right click on this column go to fill fill down ah great we've got Wisconsin everywhere where Wisconsin needs to be shown Maryland and so forth excellent now let's get rid of this top row what we can do is filter by null. Okay, now we want to get rid of anything that says total. Text filter does not contain. Okay, show rows where state does not contain total. Good. Now we can get rid of this top row here. And that means getting rid of null. We got the data. All right, so let's go ahead and load the data to the worksheet. Excellent. So we've got our data, and now we can do a pivot table. Let's say insert a pivot table, new worksheet. Good. We don't need to see our query right now. All right, so let's put rep in rows, quantity, and values. Now we have our total by rep, not by state anymore. But if we did want to look at state, we could do something like this. We could put that in filters and then look at, say, Maryland, if we wanted to do that. There's one other good thing about using getting transform. One other thing about getting transform, watch this. Here's Oklahoma data that needs to be included in the rest of this data. So here, let's copy it, paste it in, okay. 
Now let's get our query and refresh our query. Show query. And that's my step. Refresh. Okay, it did not add any more data. Why? Because we are in the workbook that the query is being pulled from. So we have to save this. Now let's refresh. There is Oklahoma. Let's go to the pivot table. Refresh the pivot table as 1186 total. Refresh, 1468. And there it is. It's getting transformed, formerly known as Power Query. We run a query on the workbook that we're in right now. And we were able to clean up the data using fill down we got rid of excess rows. Everything is great. And we didn't write a single formula. All right, get on some of this stuff. Keep your data clean.